We have a question from Tino. Recently, I have been starting my journey as a personal trainer, and it's a journey. One of my clients is a college-level baseball player and suffers from a pre-existing shoulder injury, partial dislocations depending on positioning. But like many other athletes, he has been playing through his injury despite the limitations it gave him. Due to the pandemic, he has been out of practice for some time and wants to get back into training. I was wondering if you had any tips or suggestions in terms of working around this injury or any other ideas of proper ways to go about training. I just did a workshop with John Buck on his podcast, and it's in my Wandering Weights, um, and it's about baseball injuries. Uh, a couple of things, uh, Tino, I don't know if he's still going to keep playing uh, or what, but uh, we do know that simple hanging is money for uh, shoulder issues. So if I can get him to hang around for a while, that might help immensely. Uh, certainly, uh, any kind of leg work is great. Uh, that includes not just goblet squats and things like that, but also uh, any kind of running, ideally, if he's competing still, turning more to sprinting. Um, any, any leg work we can get in, any lower body work. Throwing specifically, I'd like I wouldn't mind him using the four-pound Dynamax ball, and I only recommend Dynamax medicine balls for this because they're big. But any kind of overhead throwing or chest pressing or behind the back throwing, um, have him go slow and take his time working it up to that. But that can be money. And then two baseball specific things: if he's right-handed, have him throw a lot with his left hand. The brain works in mysterious ways. But when you're throwing left-handed, it's going to help the right side. Uh, there's a very famous pitcher that I got to hang around with a bit. Uh, and he throws better with his offhand, his left hand, than 99.999% of the pitchers I've ever worked with. Um, great athletes can do both sides. And then the final thing, okay, so lots of goofy hand throwing until this comes around, if it ever comes around. And the last one, if, if you can find... Oh, I don't know. If he has to, just use a softball. But if he can start throwing into a wall backwards, into a wall backwards, uh, use that motion. So what we're trying to do is left hand and backwards throwing might help him with the balance of some of the issues, uh, imbalances that he's put together during his life. I hope that helps. Uh, it's always hard to give this kind of advice without being able to see it. Thank you, Tina.